Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome to another edition of Zero Review, the series in which I look back on the games I played and give my own input on my experience with the game. In today's review, we're going to be talking about Soma. Now, this is the first Fractal games I ever played, as I never got a chance at the time to play the Amnesia and I think Amnesia, a machine for pigs, I think. Although some people say that's not made by them, it's made by another company that had worked with them and all that, but I can't remember, but... All in all, that's the first game I ever played from that company, and I have to say, it has done its job well. That I basically had a good time with it since I enjoy playing horror games, it's because, you know... You can get so creative in that, and Soma definitely played it as well. Especially it had a good deeper meaning to it, a good deep story and meaning behind that as well and I don't want to spoil that spoil that as you know I want people to you know find out what, I, what I'm talking about although there was some issues I had especially near the end of it that I definitely remember where I had to try to sneak past the a base somewhere and this monster was just literally walking in place in front of the door and I could not, you know, distract it enough to distract it to get away that if I threw something it immediately chased me and killed me. But luckily but luckily doing that, you know, between when I first played and now there was some patches, so hopefully that has not been happened again to other players as well. And basically like I said that I think on the from my understanding, of course, I haven't played Amnesia yet, but you can play custom stories as well. So I think for the PC version, you can customize the Soma to do whatever you want to do custom stories with that. But on the console, that opportunity has not been presented in itself. And basically, like I said, the horror in fact, you know, the horror is very effective in the game as well. Because you're literally, you know, <coughs> in an unknown place underwater and you're escaping these monstrous machines that, you know, want to kill you. And I would go more into details about that, but for this for this particular game, I feel like I should not spoil it and just, you know, let you guys find out for yourself what really is going on with the game and everything. And like I said, it's available on Steam and also on the PlayStation 4, and um, it might be on the Xbox One, but I'm not quite sure about it, so... But like I said, if you ever get an opportunity and chance to give it a sh give it a shot, definitely go for it. You will definitely have a good time with Soma, and I would give this game a good a rate a good rating on it. So, like I said, that's just my opinion on that. You can either you know try it out for yourselves or don't. Simple as that. But in any case, that's all the time I have for my Zero review. So as usual, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below, subscribe for more video update, share us on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias. And don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel and to turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my channel. And I do have a Patreon account down in the description box below if you want to help me out as low as $1 a month or as high as $5 a month. It's down, it's down there. And as usual, thank you for watching everybody, and have a good day. Bye-bye.